we got? Rampart Forge. Nah, I already did that. Think we're a different skill, upgrade one skill. Let's do that. Played from hand, gain one skill exchange, no. Deal additional damage based on all ally barriers. Hmm. Sure. Hmm. That one. For me, the skill shut down. Okay. I haven't gotten a downgrade from that ever. That's a secret. Now, what we got? No. Oh, rose armor. That's good. Rusty hammer. Crit damage and critical healing up. Evade down. Get the rose armor. Bosses there, fight there. Another steel shield or a lifestone scepter. Hmm. See what is she holding already? Fifteen evade and CC resist. Let's upgrade. Down here, oh, there's a cursed right there. This gold and a memory, nice. Buying things, what do we got? Locked on. That just enhances and draw skill, okay. Ring scrolls. Move overload, that'd be useful. Uh used by one to all fixed abilities for one use. As a relic. Hmm. Well let's do a regular fight first. And then we'll try the cursed one. The tugs. Oh, okay, let's see what Blood Mist is. Activated when the skill is drawn. Trigger random effect and exclude the skill from battle. Stun a random ally. Uh, ouch. Highest health ally takes 12 pain damage. Lose one mana for this turn. Apply armor plus 100% until the next received hit to all enemies. Um, apply resist. The next debuff to all enemies. Um, I think I'm taking the good card because that's ouch. Let's do ooh. That's a good card, and that's only for one thing though. So all enemies. That fear. Okay. Vert no. That. Oh. Sure. And we will switch out that. Accelerate. Cool. And then we will take a whole lot of damage. No, oh, whatever, mine. Alright, what do we get? More hedgehogs. Not bad. Let's do shockwave. Slash because that is the last thing we're gonna do here. Like wave. Basic attack. Okay. Ooh. Nice. More shields. What I got here? Coins? Ooh, coins and a herb. That's a lot of coins. Okay, the mirrors are normal. Alright. 
cursed. See, we're in a good spot here. Double up. Hmm. Okay, I'll do that. I know I need eight. Ah. What do we got? Oh. Hmm. Oh, that's what it does. Okay. Oh, maximum health plus 60%. Ouch. One action count. Ah, but I do get 200 gold. Just next received debuff. I don't really debuff anything. Okay. I left a curse. Oh. Remove all enemy curses. First enemies will not appear during this battle. Consume some one lifting scroll. Oh. I only have one, so no, not right now. Um, let's see. Heal, don't need it right now. Shock wave, don't need it. Let's do. That. Let's see, I can do. That protection against that guy and shock wave. Oh, it's jumped over, huh? Okay. Don't need any healing. I can lift a curse. Don't want to. End it there. Oh, exclude. Ouch. They have one in the hand right now. Uh dang it. Ow. I can't fucking resist though. Take my Ow. Well, we gotta get rid of him. Ooh. No. Duel. To accelerate. That's a hmm. All enemies, huh? Twenty three. Sure. And we could heal those two damage, that's it. Let's heal him. There were most that gets rid of most of them. He's gonna do a two attacks though. He's six. I can accelerate that. Three two crit. Oh, he's down low. Get rid of him. There we go. And it. Nah, that's fine. Such a reckless charge. Boom. The rare skill of a slicked ally. Okay. Not bad. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, here. Garbage dump or pharmacy? Oh. Hmm. We don't have any pills yet. Do the tablets. Wait a minute. Oh. 
wonder if I could remove something like that. Oh, next battle. Ah. Intimidation, basic attack, shockwave. Shockwave's 10 damage, that one's that, but it does debuff. Stable machine. Okay. But at least it's not a buff. Now let's do that. Because I have some basics. Not blood mist. Ah. Sure. Dang it. The 27 to 1. Or 23 to all. 23 to all. Do that. And end. And it will take a ton of damage. Ouch. Do. Any pillar? Not really useful for that. Bam. I like barriers. Oh, he has a barrier from that. Okay. Boom. Nice. Free slash. Sure. Healing coil. Just draw. Ooh, basic hero. Do. Eh. More. And turn. Just hit one more attack. Too bad. A little thing scroll, nice. Oh, what is that? Dome structure. A massive, strange looking dome structure. The front door is slightly open, and inside seems to be a completely different world. Oh? You could battle the boss Chiranui. Chiranui replaces the boss of this area. If you have already defeated the boss of this area, this event will have no effect. Oh. Hmm. I think I'm going to regret this, but... Sure. I opened the door and stepped inside the dome. Then for a moment, I felt dizzy and oh, oh. Ugh. Did I lose consciousness for a moment? My vision had not yet returned completely, but I knew I had collapsed somewhere. The muffled cries of seagulls, the fishy smell of the sea that stings my nose. Relying on my slowly returning vision, I carefully pull myself back up. This place is... Hmm? Huh? Lucy. Bazaar? What's going on? Why are you half-naked? Naked? No, this is a swimsuit. Why are you wearing a swimsuit? You're wearing one too, Lucy. Hearing Azar's words, I looked down at my body, and sure enough, I was also in a swimsuit. I pressed the sand of my body and looked around. What is this place? It's obvious, isn't it? This place is a beach. But we were at... Yeah, we were at the Twisted Land. We found a strange-looking building. Then as soon as we opened the door and entered, I think we lost consciousness. This is the building's interior? But I can see the sky. 
It's also my first time experiencing this. I've never heard of a beach in Twisted Land. I'm getting a little excited now. If you say that in a swimsuit... What are you talking about? I was just feeling adventurous, that's all. Lucy, you're awake now. Trisha. Trisha, you're also in a swimsuit. It seems we've been had. You've been had? An illusion, or possibly hypnosis. In any case, I have a bad feeling about this. How'd the recon go? Did you find anything? No, I couldn't find any clues. No matter how far you run, it's still a beach, a never-ending seashore. An infinite beach? How interesting. Zar, Trisha, what about the others? Ah, Pressel and Tron are... Everyone, come on over here. They're calling for us. Lucy, now that things have turned out this way, why don't we go play for a while? Play? Yeah, those two are already playing in the water. That's to be expected. I never thought I'd see the ocean in this world either. But is it okay to waste time like this? We can afford a moment of rest. It's not like we have any clues at the moment to escape, right, Trisha? Let's go. This might be the only opportunity to go swimming in our entire lives. Okay. But as are, I'm a little thirsty. That's so. Um, I don't really have anything to drink at the moment. There was a building that seemed like an unmanned convenience store over there. Huh? Lucy, take this. You're slow. What? How did you catch my sphere of darkness? Look, this is how you throw a beach ball. Back! Hold on! Trisha, can you help me apply this oil? Where'd you find this? Phew, I found it on the ground nearby. Now that, I'm going to lie down, so please give me a thorough rubbing. Why me? Uh, everyone, I brought the beverages and watermelon you asked for. Thank you, Azar. Ooh, there's so much stuff. Yeah, there are all sorts of items in that convenience store. Now that I've finished the errand, I think I'll go take a dip in the water. Wait, since we're at the ocean, we need to eat that. I'm sorry, Azar, but you need to bring us that. Th that? What do you mean? I'm so glad Azar's here. Yup. Hey, what is that? At least tell me what it is. First time seeing the ocean, my first time going swimming. I didn't understand what was going on, but I had a fulfilling time in the beach with my allies, and I knew I would cherish this moment forever. Just for this moment, I could forget about the Girl of Prophecy, the Clock Tower, and the Time Shades, and have a fun time. As if I could stay here forever, and it wouldn't matter. Ah, that was sure fun. Yeah, it was really fun. It feels nice to go on a vacation for once. Everyone, don't relax too much, we're still on a mission. You say that, but didn't you swim around a lot too? I was scouting the ocean, that's all. Um, in the end, I didn't even get to touch the water. What do you mean? We had the best break ever thanks to your service. She's right, let's all give a round of applause to Azar for taking on the most important role. Woohoo! Whatever. Anyway, as Trisha said, we're still on a mission. We have an obligation to collect the time shades and activate the clock tower. If we don't get going now... Come on, watch the big rush. Let's go play a little bit longer. Hehe. <laughs> Look, the sun's still up. Oh, you're right. I thought we were here for a long time. Hmm? Wait. How long has it been since we've arrived here? Russell? Half a day, minimum. Half a day, that's strange. If that's the case, shouldn't the sun have already set by now? What? The sun was setting even when we first arrived. You think it makes sense that the sun is still up after all those hours? So, you mean the time here is frozen? I have a bad feeling about this. I've been saying that from the start. Hmm, maybe it just felt long because we had so much fun. It's the opposite. Time flies when you're having fun, or so the saying goes. Anyway, I don't think we should be idling around. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Yeah, we should go back to where we were. But how do we go back? Uh, we just have to go back the way we came from. But where did we come from? The door. The door's not here. We definitely walked in here through the door. What? That means we're trapped here? I see. 
It says to be a sign from the sea gods to play a bit longer. Shut up, Sharon. Everyone, let's calm down and search the area. If there is an entrance, there has to be an exit. We should split up and investigate. We each split up to investigate the beach. And it wasn't long before we realized this place was not normal. Ah, Trisha. How about it? Did you find anything? Lucy, wait. You see that palm tree behind you? That one with three fruits? Huh? Uh, yeah. It definitely started my investigation in the direction of that palm tree. I only moved forward, ignoring all the side paths to get a sense of the terrain. But then, that palm tree appeared again. And that means... You remember what I said when we got here about this place being a never-ending seashore? It's not never-ending, instead... It's repeating itself? Yes. Lucy, can you call everyone here? I have a feeling we shouldn't be looking around aimlessly. Okay. I see. I knew something was off. So it's not infinite, but looping. Huff huff. We're in big trouble. We're never going to find the exit at this rate. Charon, you're soaked. You went swimming instead of searching, didn't you? Th no, this is just wet. How oh, puzzling. Even if we assume this is someone's doing, who could it be and why? Maybe there's something beyond the horizon. I think it's too dangerous to investigate that far into the ocean. That's... huh? Azar, who was pointing at the horizon, suddenly stopped talking. Wondering what was going on, we followed Azar's gaze and soon realized why. Uh-oh. Flame. Like the boundary between the sea and the sky, an ominous flame was filling the horizon. And in the center of those flames, something in the shape of a human was coming towards us from over the horizon. That thing hovered slightly above the surface of the water and rode the flames to glide closer to the shore. It's useless. You can't escape from here. You will all play in this beach for eternity. Hair as red as blood. Two large sharp horns extending from the forehead. The mystical figure appeared seemingly out of nowhere and began to speak. What? Who are you? Who? My name is Shiranui. I've been watching you from the seas. Looks like the owner of this domain showed up. A sea goddess? You. I saw you were all having fun in this beach I've created. Good. It was worth the effort to set up this barrier. Seeing your happy faces makes me feel good, too. But the fun is just beginning. Now it's time for me to join in on your playing. Let us enjoy our never-ending fun in this beach together. What do you mean you're going to play with us? Yes, I've been waiting all this time. Find friends who will play with me forever. <laughs> forever? That's not possible. We need to return to where we were. You wish to return? But why? Weren't you all having fun just a moment ago? Are you already tired of the beach, or do you not wish to play with me? We need to activate the clock tower and return peace to this world. We cannot afford to stop here. We're going to activate the clock tower? That's impossible. From what I've heard, you'll surely fail. On the other hand, within this barrier, there is nothing but joy. If you wish, I can create a lot of different things other than the beach. You should stop doing such dangerous things and have fun with me instead. You can't put aside what we need to do just to have fun. Of course, it's important to take breaks from time to time. But playing around forever won't change anything. I see, what a pity. Since you were all enjoying the beach I created, I thought you'd want to stay here. Okay everyone, since she's asking so nicely, how about we compromise and go swimming for just one more week? Be quiet before I bash your head in. It's as Lucy says, so let us out of here. No, I won't allow it. Even if you don't want to stay, I'll force you to stay. The atmosphere has changed. It seems she wants to challenge us. If you really wish to get out, try and defeat me. If you do, I'll send you back to where you once were. But if you lose, you'll have to stay here and play with me forever. So it's come down to a fight. We have no choice, everyone. Prepare yourselves. Ah. Oh, burning steak. What? Let us play in this place forever. Ooh. Okay. Well, reckless charge. I'm probably not going to use it, though. Ouch. 
Let's see, what is that? Uh, burning state cannot be disabled. Healing gauge protection. If this character has zero or less health, gain one stack whenever you play a skill from hand. Upon reaching maximum stacks, deal 15 pain damage to all allies except this character. Ooh. What? One stack. Hmm. Let's see, it can be used one more time this turn for one mana. Huh. Well, let's do... I don't have a healing potion anymore because I used it. Um, hmm. This is zero. I can do that. Oh. Okay. Uh, three, eight, five. Burning wall. Dance of fire, burning wall. Deal 15 damage to a selected ally and reduce the ally's next damage taken to zero. The ally had 15 or less health. Reduce all allies' next damage taken to zero. Hmm. When this skill is discarded, gain one stack of burning stake from stake of protection. Huh. I am probably gonna lose this fight, because that is a lot of things that I think are required to know. Well, let's do that. Do shield bash. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that's 32. That's 43. Eh. Attack power down for self. For two turns. Oh, wait. That's for, uh, Pressel. She doesn't really attack, so... Sure. Hmm. In one stack of burning. But if it does max burning, it does 15 pain damage to everybody. So it's like a... Hmm. Can't heal itself. Okay. Sure. Continuous draw. Sure. Alright. Pow. Flame dance. 10 damage whenever you play a skill from hand. Oh, that's not good. Okay. What type is that? Pain? Do that. Ah, oh, I thought I healed it. Shoot. Hmm. gonna take damage, so. Oh, it's gonna mess up a thingy, but. Uh, okay, everyone's gonna take it. Except it did. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna have 
no healing, so I can't really do anything with that. That's the end of the run. Play resist next debuff to all enemies. Shoot. Take ten damage. Yeah. Eh, I got it to half. 